on the strip right now. Getting ready for H2O 2019. No, I actually just drove all the way down here to uh, waste money on a new seat for the coupe. But uh, it was a nice day out, so it really wasn't uh, really wasn't a waste of time in my opinion. And now we have, and now I have a seat, driver's seat for the coupe, so I can throw my reclinable ride in the passenger, and that should be looking sick. And my wheel spacers came in, so I can throw them on this weekend. And that's like pretty much the finishing touches on it. Now it's just all like dumb shit. Uh, got a wire boost gauge. Got to do. Uh, I got to get lug nuts for it because I'm running four lug nuts. I also have to figure something out with the harness bar situation. I don't really want to get the car caged to be honest. So I might wind up doing more like a bolt on auto power or Cusco or safety 21 cage. But I guess we'll see. I gotta get harnesses because my fucking cheap ass Takata knockoff harnesses don't cut it. But other than that, the car should be almost done and then we'll be able to rip it for real. Alright, so next day I'm down at the shop. Uh, I'm gonna throw the seats in because I just bought the Zeta yesterday. And I got a, I got a bricks laying around for my Safira. And then I also ordered these uh, GK Tech wheel spacers. I got the 15 mils because my fitment wasn't that far off. But you can see I already got the one on one side. This is the side without the spacer. So fitment is just like, it's just too, too far in for me. And with the 15 mils, comes out a little bit more, looks a little bit better. I probably could have went with a bigger size, but once I lower the car more, we'll see how it looks, because it's kind of inaccurate to test wheel fitment when this suspension isn't sitting how it's going to be. So I'm gonna throw this spacer on real quick, throw the seats in, and I got a new battery for it. With the wheel spacer, you're just going to take the old wheel off, slide the spacer over the studs, and then it comes with lug nuts to go onto the studs to hold the spacer onto the wheel. Gonna run these on. Just throw the wheel on over the spacers. for the wheel spacers it's pretty straightforward install I mean I don't know how you can really mess it up other than if the original lug nuts were somehow hitting the back of the wheel but now the fitment between the gram lights and the 33s aren't as far off I think as soon as I lower the front end more it'll look a lot better all right so now we're gonna take the passenger seat out it's just four 14 mil bolts Bolt it into the floor, or then one into the train tunnel. Oh fuck, the whole stud came out with that one. Which isn't supposed to happen.
So that's in. I'm gonna switch over to the driver's side. So for the driver's side, we're just gonna swap out the seat rails now. So now the driver's side is pretty much the, the same as the passenger side. I just got to pull my harnesses through. <laughs> Never mind. Put the rails on backwards. Okay, now we're good. The rails are on backwards. But now, we run into a problem. Nah, it's good. I lost the sliders from the last car that this is in. So I wasn't sure if it would be positioned correctly. But it, it feels good. I can reach all the pedals fine, so that's all that matters. Alright, so that's I guess how the interior is going to sit for a minute. I don't really like how high this this driver's seat is sitting, although I'm not tall, I won't hit my head, but it kind of looks corny because the passenger seat's way lower. But um, it'll do for now, it don't look too bad. I gotta get rid of those harnesses too, they're super corny. I think it looks pretty decent. All right, now we're gonna throw this battery in. I'm gonna clean up this ground because whoever did this is I don't even know what that is. They just bolted to the spare tire, so I'm just grind down where it is, rebolt it there, and then throw the new battery in. I don't know what it is. Uh, the car probably has a parasitic drain somewhere. Now the lights are on in the car. Alright. It's a $300 battery. I don't know what else this car expects from me. Ground is clean. See if it'll start. Fuel pumps on. good still I mean it runs super rich and and I don't know why it could be something with the tune or if it even is tuned but um yeah I'm on the phone now because my camera died but I got the interior all finished up so yeah don't don't forget to uh like comment subscribe we got some cool stuff coming up we might do like a little hundred subscriber giveaway or something or something of the likes so yeah
Let me know what you think, how the seats look, and uh, I'll be back.